In this video, I will show you how to use the free Trade Buddy tool to combine multiple MetaTrader backtests and um, have a portfolio of strategies and analyze it for the same time period. So, in the MetaTrader 5, you probably know that it is not possible to take multiple of your backtests here and um, like from multiple different strategies or multiple different symbols and combine them. So you have, for example, a combined equity or balance graph or combined key figures. And this is why I found a solution for this and embedded it in this free trade body, um, which was a trading journal until now. But now you can also use it for backtest analyze. Uh, analysis. So let me explain first of all what the trade body is and where to get it. If you do not use this tool already, you can go to en.bmtrading.de and in the top menu you will find trade body. There is a video that will explain everything you need to know about this tool. Also, you can just enter your email address and you will receive an email and um, yeah, you are able to download the tool for free. In this video, it's not about the trading journaling um, function of this tool, but instead I will explain you exactly how you can use it to analyze backtests. So let me close this and let me show to you the exact steps that you need to take after downloading the tool. Please follow the steps one by one. I will explain everything detailed and very slow. So if you download the tool, you will get this tradebuddy.zip um, folder. And as a first step, I would recommend to just unpack it. So right click and um, unpack. I will just put it on the desktop. So here you can see I now have, uh, wait, I ha now have a new folder, which is also Trade Buddy, of course. It contains the files just unzipped. And here we can now see the tradebuddy.exe file, which is, of course, the executable file that we will later on use to, um, yeah, like just import all the trades and have the visual graphic and the key figures. But for getting the trades from the MetaTrader 5 tester, first of all, we will need this Trade Buddy Tester MT5 indicator. So right click, copy, and then go to your MetaTrader 5, click on File, Open Data Folder, go to MQL5 folder from here. Then open the indicators folder. This is important. Go to indicators. This is not an expert advisor or a script. This is an indicator. So open the indicator folder and then right click paste the file here. So you should now find the trade buddy tester MT5 file located in the indicators folder. Now you can close this. And in your MetaTrader 5, you can go to the indicators in your navigator. Here you will um, you can right click and refresh and as soon as you did this you should now find the uh, it's not in examples you should now find the trade buddy tester MT5 program here. Right, let me delete this one. This was an old file. So what I want you to do next is just prepare any chart like how you want to see it or view it in the strategy tester. And then when you have this chart, you can just attach the Trade Buddy Tester MT5 program by dragging and dropping it from the navigator menu here to this specific chart. You have one input. I would suggest that you just use the total period. This will always use all the trades from the strategy test and this makes sense in most of the cases. Then I can just click on OK and now you can see in the indicator list the Trade Buddy Tester MT5 indicator is now attached to this chart. We do not see it. It's not a visual indicator. It is not uh, for this reason. Um, but next I want you to go to Templates, Save Template and then you can go to tester template or you will create the tester.tpl template. So if you do not have this, just write tester.tpl and then click on save. If you have the tester template already, you will have to replace it. So now I have this saved as a tester template, which means when I now start a visual test, this tester template will automatically be applied. So what I want to do next is here I want to go to strategy tester. So click on view strategy te tester if it's not open already and then go to overview and go to visualize. I will show you two different um, 
uh, ways how you can use this Trade Buddy Tester MT5 indicator. This is the first way, and this is the way you will always have to use if you do not if you do not have access to the source code of the expert advisor, the automated trading strategy that you want to test. So if you, for example, have a strategy from the MQL5 market, you usually do not have the source code. In this case, in this case, you will have to use um, or you will have to do everything as I explained it. So you will have to create this tester template, then you will have to start a test, choose the expert you want to test, choose the symbol, the period, this is just the normal testing stuff, and then it is important that you use the visual mode. So if I now start this test, um, like I would normally do it, if I would only test an expert advisor, I can do this, and you can see there's nothing special, so to say, in the chart. You can just see your expert advisor is getting processed, the data is simulated, there are trades done, um, but there is one difference. If we have a look at the journal here of this test, we can see whenever there is something going on, like if there is a new deal, these deals will, or the trades will be stored in a separate file. And this is what the um, trade body MT5 or trade body indicator is doing in the background. It will um, realize whenever there's a, a deal done and then it will take all the trades and will store it in a text file. And you can also see here where this text file is located. But first of all, let me fast forward this test. Um, until we see um, yeah, the complete backtest. And you can see whenever there's a trade done, the amount of trades here is um, modified and more and more trades will be stored in the, um, uh, yeah, in this uh, separate file. So now we already have five tests and I can um, minimize this window. Like to speed up the test, you can just use the maximum testing speed here and then minimize this window and then the test will run yeah, as quickly as possible and process the testing period as quickly as possible. The trades are still extracted to the external file, so this is no, no problem. And when the test is finished, you will then see like in the journal, the last um, information from the uh, trade body indicator is uh, 53 trades were added to the trading journal and if we compare this to the total amount of trades here in this test it's indeed 53. So where can we find this journal now with all the trades? You will see the indicator also prints the direct path here where you can, where you can find this file but if you still have this um, uh, window open there's an easier way because in the visual mode of the strategy tester in the folder uh, or in the window here you can just click on file open data folder and this will open the folder for this specific test directly so here I can now go to MQL5 and to files and there I think yeah you should in most cases only find one file which is the tradebuddy.txt file and now and I can now take this um, and yeah, let's first of all, uh, let's have a look at this. So you can see this file just stores the information for all the trades pretty much. And this is not really easy to read, but we will, in the next step, we, we are able to um, then import this file to our trade body. So I can now take this, copy the file, and for example, let me put it just somewhere on my desktop. I could also uh, rename this that's no problem. I can say GBP US dollar range breakout test or something and then I will just locate it here. And now, um, yeah, before we import these files to the trade buddy, I want to show you the second faster way that you can do to get this file if you have the source code of your expert advisor. So I want to do another test next for um, Japanese yen, uh, wait, US dollar, Japanese yen. And now I want to show you the faster way where we do not have to use the visual mode. So let me just close this. Let's get rid of this um, X here. So this second way just works or it only works if you have the source code of the expert advisor, the strategy that you test. If you have the source code, you can go to the meta editor 
and I will show it to you um, quickly here. So this is the range breakout EA recovery. So exactly the expert advisor that I'm using here. And in the source code, I can now add the on tester function. So if you do not have it in your program already, just add it, the on tester function. And then you only have to add these two lines to the on tester function. So first of all, you will have to create the handle for this indicator. And in this case, it is, it is trade buddy um, tester MT5. It's the name of the indicator. And I can, um, yeah, then create this handle. And then I just have to call chart indicator add for the current chart and the current window and use this handle to apply the indicator to, the, um, to this specific expert advisor when the test is finished. Um, yeah, so if I compile this, you can also use this now in the strategy tester without the visual mode. So let me just quickly test this and you will see this test is running a lot faster now because I do not even use this um, visual mode. And in the end, the on tester function of this expert advisor will be called and this function will then execute the, um, the indicator. So you can see this test was way quicker than before. And in the journal, we will still see 59 trades uh, were added to the trading journal. And if we compare this to the amount of trades done in this test, it's still 59. So you can see all the trades were added to the trading journal. This time we cannot go over file and open data folder, but this time we will have to use this path. So in the journal, you would see the path, just right click and copy the path and then go to um, your explorer and copy um, or paste the pa uh, path up here in the uh, URL pretty much. And then you can just um, find the path where the file is located. And in this case, if we have a look at this file again, you can see this time it is, uh, it contains all the USD Japanese yen trades. So let's also get this file, right click, copy, and let's put it on the desktop. And yeah, you can see this, this um, test was just way quicker than the first test. And I can also paste it here and um, I can rename it. I don't have to rename it but um, maybe it adds some um, clarity here so you do not mix up these tests. So now we have these two files um, that contain all the trades of our tests. And now we can go back to our trade buddy folder where we will find this trade buddy ex uh, file and we could launch it directly from this folder but what i would like to do here is create a new folder explicitly for this purpose and i can say for example uh, range breakout portfolio test and then um, yeah i will just take the trade body from here and copy it and you can just copy the ex it's not a problem and then i will just paste it here and um, also what I want to do is I also want to take my two um, files here and also drag and drop them here. So I have everything for this specific um, test in this folder. So now I can run the tradebuddy.exe file and you will see as soon as I run it, it will create a new file in this folder. That's why I moved it to the separate folder here and it's app tradebuddy.db. This is um, the database that holds all the data. And right now you can see I do not have any data here in this account. Oh wait, let me switch the language to English, English quickly here. So let's switch to English and restart the trade buddy. Okay, so here we go. Trade buddy is now in English and you can see there is no content in the table. And before we start including the trades, there's one really important step and you, do, you should not forget this, otherwise it will not work with this um, testing portfolio optimization. So you have to go to accounts uh, or to data accounts and then you will have to create a new account. And this account has to have test like these four letters somewhere in the account name. The rest does not really matter. I could choose, for example, the strategy that I'm testing here. Then you have to click on create account and you have, se have to select this account. So it has to be shown here in the status bar. So it has to say trade buddy and then the name of your account that contains test in the name. This is really important because only then we can start and go to data again, start to include 
or import the trades. And here we will just find the files with the trades. For me, it's in the desktop in my subfolder. I will start with the GU trades first. So I can just double click this and it will automatically load all the trades. And you can see the trade ID is now starting by one and then increasing for every single trade. This is because I um, yeah, made this the test account. And um, if you do not do this, it will take the ID of the trades so the trade ID, but this is not really suitable for tests because if you do multiple tests, multiple trades could have the same ID and this would um, not work on the trade body. So you will have to need, uh, you will need to have tests in the name of your account. So then I will go to MT4, MT5 import again. And now comes the whole beauty of this new feature because I can go here and find the range breakout portfolio test again and include the second file and you can see all of these files, uh, all of these trades are now combined. So I can see the um, yeah complete graph for this whole portfolio. And I could do this for 10 different symbols or 10 different strategies. So this is really, really great. You will know exactly what would have happened with your specific portfolio if you would have traded this in the in the history. Like if you do a lot of tests and include it here, you can really make an in-depth analysis of your portfolio. Then you can, of course, as I said, you can make this in-depth analysis. So let me go to symbols and strategies and quickly add the symbols. Um, so I will go with USD, uh, USD, Japanese yen here, of course, add this one and GBP, USD, TDS. So make sure it's written exactly like uh, shown in the symbol column. And then since I have these two symbols here now, I can click on done and go to the filter section. And here I can now filter whatever I want. I could say I only want to have a look at the long trades. So I filter for buy trades only or only at the short trades. So I filter the sell trades only or let me get both again. And maybe we just want to filter for the current month. Which, uh, which is December 2023. So I could just go like this and just filter the current month. And you can see, oh, this was a really bad month actually in the test. So probably sh sh should not trade in this month. Um, yeah, but you can see this is uh, the, the power of the analysis tool here now. And I could also go ahead and since I added the symbols, I could say, I could still say I only want to see the USD Japanese yen trades. So I'll go for this and you can see all the other trades are gone. And USD Japanese yen was actually profitable. But if I filter GBP USD, it's not so profitable anymore. So you can see you can do all kind of filtering stuff. And I could also go ahead and filter for comments or for magic numbers. These are all the features that you have in the normal trade body because I mean, this is the normal trade body. And um, so you can do the in-depth analysis of your testing portfolio. And now I only have GBP USD. So let me reset this to get all the trades back here. So yeah. So this is the new version. It's currently version 2.1.0. So if you have this version, you have this feature also and can make and you can make use of it. If you use the trade body already, make sure, sure to get the latest version to also have this feature so you can optimize your uh, portfolio of strategies from the strategy tester so you know exactly if you want to trade a specific set of expert advisors in this combination or not. So um, as always, feedback is highly, uh, highly appreciated. Let me know what you think about the adjustment, adjustments, the latest version of the trade buddy. And yeah, then there's nothing more to say. Then uh, I hope that, that you like the tool, the new uh, update and that you can use it. And yeah, have, have a lot of fun and um, yeah, using this, this new feature and have a great time and good trades. Bye-bye. Um,